What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What's up, guys? Good morning to you. It is Saturday morning. You know the day is I don't give a damn Saturday, and my camera acting like it don't give a damn. Come on, fix yourself. Don't make no sense, guys. You got to fight with a camera. Yeah, guys, I'm on my way to Gainey Beach, out St. Pete. I volunteered this morning for the beach cleanup. So, guys, I got to go take care of that. It's only going to be for like four hours. So, I'm going to dash from two to whenever. So, I figure I make this video. Talk to you guys. I'm going to give you some tips up front, guys, because, you know, some of my subscribers said, <laughs> you see, I really do like a video. I really do. But if you could put the tips at the beginning, you know, that way, he was like, I don't have 30 minutes to watch your video. I'm dashing. I tell you like this, Mr. Scott, you watch 15 minutes, then you watch the 15 later. <laughs> now I'm just kidding. I understand what you're saying, guys. Uh, only tip that I have for you guys right now, you're not going to be successful if you don't put yourself in the right zone. And what I mean by that, you got to know what zone, the zone that you're in, you got to know what it produces. You got to know how many schools you got, how many uh, hospitals you got. How many nursing homes you have? How many ghettos you have? Well, I don't like saying ghetto. I say low income, you know. And you gotta know what, what, what you're catering to. I'm gonna kill this camera, guys. The camera don't give a damn. Ah, freaking camera getting on my nerves. So to be successful in DoorDash, Grubhub, or any market that you're in, you got to know what your market produces. So over the years, I've been able to do my homework. And it's easy these days, guys, because all you gotta do is ask Google. Now, I, I, you don't heard it in many videos. Just ask Google, how many um, schools do you have in this zone? And, when, and you don't even got to do the zone, you could do area code. Or how many hospitals, how many um, nursing homes. You wanna, you wanna be in a zone that catered to DoorDash. Meaning that a lot of people don't have access to, you know, drive to the places or the stores are too far away. So guys, setting yourself up for success with DoorDash or Grubhub, you got to put yourself in the right zone. And you got to work, I, I haven't worked all the new zones yet, but before they added like seven zones, I used to work St. Pete, I did Clearwater, I did, um, you know, Wesley Chap. I did uh, South Tap and North Tap. On certain days, see, here it is again. God, they ain't giving a damn today. This camera killing me. On certain days, um, I worked a zone that gave me a lot of money. So I worked all four zones at one particular time since I've been dashing and on them days, like if it was a Monday, like I just give you a rundown. Monday, Tuesday, I work North Tampa. Wednesday, Thursday, I work South Tampa. Cause that's that's the those are the days that gave me more money on. I mean, those are the zones that gave me more money on those days. And the rest of the week, I work temperatures. So I got three zones that I work that produce my money. But the problem that I'm having now is I'm not working long enough to get that money. I'm only working two, three hours. You know what I mean? God, I'm gonna get my coffee. This camera about to make me mad. I'll be back. Hold that thought. I'm back, guys. Yeah, Tyra's in there today. She made my coffee for me. You know I'm happy, guys. You know I'm happy when I see Tyra. Tyra made the best coffee. But yeah, guys, you gotta set yourself up for the best zone. That's the only way you're gonna make money. I see people that, um, hit me up in the chat saying that they're not making money. Y'all gonna have to excuse me because I'm about to really bang this camera up. They're not making money. And the reason not they're not making money, they're in a zone that's probably either saturated with um, dashes or they don't cater to, that zone don't cater to DoorDash. And guys, you also can find out how many restaurants in your area that use DoorDash. Just ask Google. Or you can ask um, Alexa. So they, they set you up now where you can get all this information, guys, for free. So you got to do your homework, guys. That's I stress that. 
You have to do your homework. It's important. You can't just cut your app on and say, hey, I'm going to make some money with DoorDash. You got to set yourself in the right zone. Even though it's a, it's, I don't give a damn Saturday, I got to go to this beach, man. I don't give a damn. I really don't want to go. But I volunteer, guys, and I want to get my volunteers out the way. You know what I mean? That's why I love my family, my Coca-Cola family, man. In 3.8 miles, turn left to I-275 South. It's taking me this way. Yeah, I got to go to St. Pete, God. I don't mind a Tampa Bay hat, man. I had to get a hat this morning. I was trying to find a beach hat, but I couldn't find one. So, this is what I put on. Oh, yeah, Tyler, that's good right there. Yes, sir. Coffee on point, God. So, I'm going to be out on the beach for three hours. Uh, cleaning up the golf. So, it's my Coca-Cola family. A bunch of volunteers. You know, so I was giving back to the community. Hey guys, I want to say um, Dollar hit me up, and yes, she was named after Dollar from um, Lil Rascal. But she hit me up, let me know that Tim was so happy, and he loved all the comments, guys. Unfortunately, they still there for the weekend, so uh, you know he supposed to went home on the 14th. Tim and Dollar, I ain't forgot about. You. I'm gonna try to get up there today, and um, we'll see what happens. Right now, I gotta go to St. Pete. I'm there till 12 o'clock. 8 to 12, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I had to act like a kid and count. So I'm there for four hours, guys. I'm planning on dashing from two to whenever. I got to dash, guys. I got to get that money. But yeah, guys, that's a good tip for you guys. Do your homework. Don't be lazy, man. Don't be lazy. If you look at all my video, guys, I track every place I went to. How many times I went to that store on this particular day. How many times I went to that store on a particular day. And then I keep it. I write everything down and I keep it. And when I go to dash, I decide which zone I want to be in that got me that money. And you want to stay busy when you're in the zone. You don't want to sit. For the two, three hours that I'm working, guys, I'm not sitting no more. I sit I sit in the morning, but it, it get busy in the evening. I'm not posting the $800 like I used to because I'm not working that many hours. Um, you know, I'm not going to make $800 in two, three hours. I'm not going to do it. Hell, that'd be a hell of a zone, man. Work two hours, make eight hundred dollars. That's why when I look at these videos and somebody said they made six six figures doing door, um, food at damn one hell of a zone. There must be three cars in that um, zone and nine hundred thousand restaurants, and you got the only vehicle to get that. What's it called? You can make good money, man. If I, I, I know I was on record pace. If I would have went full time, I probably, I know I probably would have made 60, 70,000. No, 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 no full job. But I couldn't see myself making no, unless you can't get a lot of catering jobs. It's just hard for you to make me believe that guy. I'm serious. It's hard making $100 a day, let alone $300. And you know, you have to make almost. Shoot. You would have to make almost three thousand a week to do that to make six figures. Who the hell making almost three thousand a week doing food ad? Please tell me. Just don't believe it, guys. You can't get me to believe that. Turn left to I two seventy five south. Unless you got somebody, unless you got five apps in your name and you got five people working for you. That's the only way I can see you doing it. Ain't no way in the hell. 
And I can see somebody making three thousand dollars a week doing the food ads. I just don't see it. You can kiss my sweet potato pie. I don't believe that. And if it's happening, good. I need to go with that. <laughs> That's uh. Turn left to I two. All right, all right. Calm down, man. But yeah, guys, this week been a uh, been a low week. I haven't really dashed as much. You know, I hung out with the wifey one day, and um, really didn't do too good. I did some dancing. Shout out to my man Malachi. How you doing, Alyssa? I see you got your package, guys. I'm gonna upload a video um, later on. Alyssa got some of the makeup that I sent her, that my daughter sent her, and uh, if you don't know, Alyssa, she wanna uh, be a makeup artist. So her YouTube Uncle Kingfish. Would y'all two stop playing? Oh, they about to have an accident. They, they don't want to give up the light. Shut up. They trying to muscle each other on the lane. That's how you had an accident. And this car cut goes back over and cut the other car off. Let me get away from these two guys. Yeah guys, you know the day is Saturday, so I don't give a damn Saturday now. If you don't know how it play, let me tell you how it play. This is how it go. Just say if somebody come up to you and say, hey man, how you like this shirt? You look at that person right in the eye and say, I don't give a damn about that shirt. You know why? They can say, why? You say, because this king bitch, I don't give a damn shirt. <laughs> but I really do like this shirt. That's all you got to do. You ain't giving it a damn. My wife said, boo, you gotta get up. You volunteer today. I'm like, the woman I know I gotta get up. I don't give a damn if I volunteer today. I ain't gonna be there all day. Yeah, guys, oh snap. I gotta play some Powerball, man. I think the Powerball is 252. No. That's Mega Million, 252, Powerball 147. All right, guys, I gotta get me a ticket. I hit the numbers, man, I'll still be dashing. I dash because I love you guys. Yeah, guys, so that's my tip for the day. Make sure, make sure Put yourself in the right zone. By putting yourself in the right zone, you set yourself up to make some good money and to be busy. And do that. Don't be scared to do the six dollars orders. Those orders only a mile away, maybe two at least. All right, guys. I'm gonna put you on pause for a second. I gotta eat my sandwich. My stomach is in my back. See you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back, man. Hey, Tyra, the girl that made this daggone uh, vegan toast, y'all need to put her in the lock. Right right it was hard. Daggone bacon tastes like rubber bands. My dang, man. I got some good coffee. Turn right to I-275 South. Hey, child, the sad part is, I don't know her name, but the one that told you to make both of my coffee is the one that made my sandwich, and it was nasty, so I think she got me back. She can't even microwave a sandwich right. You know I'm gonna let her know. I said, what the hell you give me, girl? That wasn't no dang on big and toasted. I was big and nasty. I've been thinking about that big and toaster all day, all night. I said, I'm gonna give me some good coffee and a big and toaster. Yeah, I got some good coffee, but I ain't get that big and toaster. It make no sense. I'll be here in about 15 minutes, guys. I never been to this beach before, but 
gonna check it out. I'm not a beach person. I'm really not a sun person. What? If I go to the beach, guys, gotta be in the evening when the sun is at its lowest. But yeah, Tyler, she made me that nasty sandwich. I ate it because I ain't wasting my money. Just the bacon wasn't in there long enough. The egg was cold. I was just, just overall, just a terrible sandwich. Yeah, she need to clean the lobby for the rest of the day. No, I'm gonna give it to her, guys. I'm gonna give it to her when I see her again, because I don't give a damn. You see, luck, I can't get to her now. But you know I'm gonna say it in a nice, polite way. Like, who the hell taught you how to make that sound? Ray or Steve? Hey, Trini, you a nut, Trini. Trini left in a comment yesterday when I said something about Daisy Duke. She was a little too thick for Daisy Duke. <laughs> Daisy Duke was big dead. <laughs> but um, Trini said, how you know them old folks don't want some, some thick Daisy Dukes? <laughs> She's beyond thick, man. I was just going along with the theme. You feel me? I like my stick. Like yo yo. 160, 180. That's what I'm talking about. But you a nut, Trenny. You a nut, man. You are getting me in trouble. Guys, if you've never been to St. Pete, if you ever come to Florida, go to downtown St. Pete. You will you have your wonderful time, guys. You have a wonderful time. Downtown St. Pete, guys, got everything you need. Ah, Ooh, that coffee good. I'm gonna try to murder this coffee before I go in here. Yeah, guys. Even though it's, uh, I don't give a damn charity. I want y'all guys to understand that in order for you to make some money, you got to make sure you're in the right zone. You got to put yourself where the money at. If you work a dead zone, you're going to know, guys. You've been in that zone for five hours and made 20 bucks, 30 bucks. It's not a zone that you want to be in. You want to be in a zone where as soon as you get in that zone, it's going off. Oh Lord, I'm about to see an accident in front of me. Oh, thank God. See, like all the accidents I see come from speed. One guy was getting over, the other guy was flying, trying to get past him. But it didn't work. You can't beat no 18 wheel of guys all day. That Win Dixie truck would have torn him up. Hey, Bakari. Bakari said, DoorDash is back. He did good this weekend. I need a loan, look, bro. I need about four, five hundred dollars. I play some basketball for him. That's my goal, guys. I got one goal in life right now. Other than beat Big Rick. I want to get to LA and play my man with Car on some one-on-one. For fun. Hey, McCord, we should do a charity event, McCord. One day when I come to L.A., because I'm coming to L.A., I'm going to hook up with you, McCord. And we're going to do a charitable event for our YouTube family. It might be only five or six people show up, but at least we'll throw an event. A little basketball, celebrity basketball game. No. I'm not no celebrity, but I'm going to act like one. <laughs> How about you, Picard? We got to fake it till we make it. I think when I get to 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to challenge Picard to a, a terrible event. It could be for something, you know. 
So Picard, I'm challenging you to a game of one-on-one -on -one when I reach 15,000 subs. I hope I'm not 57 years old by the time I get there. But if I hit 15,000 subs, I'm gonna fly my butt out there and I'm gonna put a whooping on you, Picard. That's right, Picard. From North Carolina, five foot eight, 212 pounds. Point guard, half a center, should have been a forward, ain't tall enough to be nothing else. Kingfish, AKA Big Owl, number wide, but Malachi, number 14 on my back. I'm gonna get Melissa to make me up, Alyssa to make me up. We gonna put a smack down on you, Bacardi. That's a challenge, buddy. I got a long ways to go. So 15,000 subs, buddy. I'ma I'm strap him up. I'ma break out the golden four stripes of Adidas on your butt. I ain't playing. Hey, Trinity, you could be the referee. That's how we gonna do it. So, Bacardi, I'm challenging you. And I get 15,000 subs. That way, I'm gonna be already old, but you're gonna be a little older too. I don't want the Bakari in his prime, I want the, the old Bakari, you know what I mean? So if you accept this challenge, Bakari, I'll let you go. Alright, guys, on both sides of me ain't nothing but water. It's beautiful out here too, guys. It's beautiful. I'm going to the Ganey Beach guys to do my volunteer services. And uh, that's what I do, guys. I got to give back to the community. So I got to find a way to do it. I work for a great organization that always do charitable work. You know, a company can you work for the owner that look like you and do all these wonderful things to give back to the community. Can't be the guy. I'm living the life. I'm dashing every day. I'm drinking the best coffee made by the best young lady in, in Tampa. Let's see what I want, guys. Oh, drip drop. Please enjoy any size of iced tea for a dollar. All right, guys. I like iced tea. Smell fishy out here, guys. I hope it ain't no red, that red mess. I ain't about that. I ain't about about it. So I don't give a damn. I'm here today. Oh, hell, that's my exit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chill out. Yes, sir. I'm going to get some people on the beach today. He said, Alan, it's a lot of trash out there. I'm like, I don't give a damn about that trash. This is Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl. I don't give a damn, sir. I ain't giving a damn. Guys, I'm going to try to clean this beach up so fast. All right, North Beach. Okay, 32, exit 32. I need to go on the boat side. Guys. If you ever come to Florida, please come to um, that St. Pete. Downtown, downtown St. Pete at nighttime will blow your mind. That's what I was told. I ain't been there yet. So I'm just hyping it up. So when I go, I'll be already hyped up. But I had a lot of people people. When I first was looking at some apartments, all the guy talked about was St. P. I'm like, man, I'm trying to get an apartment. Ain't nobody stunned no St. P. I don't even know where St. P. that. He was like, well, St. P. downtown that night is the bomb, brother. You would love it. Like, oh, man, I thought I was talking to, um, what's his name? Huck Hogan. All right, guys. You almost hit it. You can smell the beach too, man. You can smell butt, feet, and sand. I guess that's a beach. <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm almost here. Woo! Mm. I don't think I'm gonna get used to this. Oh, smell like them nasty eggs I eat. I want to thank you guys for taking this ride with me, guys. Like I said, I'm going to try to give you my tips up front. Because like my man said, I understand. See, Scott Beavis, I do listen to my subs. So I'm going to try to give you my tips at the beginning of the video. And I'm going to talk about what I want at the end. You feel me? You guys, if I tell you like this, this is why I don't stick to the strip. DoorDash is, is consistently... It's, it's something that all you're doing is repeat yourself over and over. So I don't want to sound robotic. I don't want to sound like a robot. But the tips that I give you are the same tips that I'm going to keep giving you because they work. DoorDash has not put out any new material or any. They haven't did no uh, great updates to the app or anything. So it's like old news. So that's why we have... Uh, Keeping the real money, Monday. That's why we keep, we have it. Um, hell no Thursday. Thankful Tuesday. I don't give a damn Saturday because if I just stick on DoorDash, guys, I put y'all to sleep. You know, then y'all really see the frustration that I have about DoorDash. But this is a positive channel, man. Negativity don't live here, guys. Cause negative, never. Mm, I can't even talk. Uh -uh. Being negative puts you in a mind state of a, being an unhappy person. And I'm a very happy person. You know what I mean? I might want to whoop my camera butt. I might want to cuss out my GPS. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, guys, I'm a positive person because being positive allow you to be happy. Being negative, that's all you do is. Wake up mad. You mad at everything. You know? What what kind of life you living if you just wake up negative? That's a sad person, man. You in a you trapped in a bad place, a bad body. That's why I get mad at the guys, man. Every time it negative, 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 negative. I'm like, can you find some positive in that negative? Because if you could you realize that it's not the situation that you're in. It's the situation you're putting yourself in. Guys, if you think negative, negative things going to happen. You go to a club thinking that you're going to get in a fight or you're going to kill somebody. Either you're going to get in a fight or you might get killed. That's just like you see somebody fight and there's 10 guys jumping on one guy and all you can think about is the negative stuff that that guy might have did to get that butt with. but you don't call the police you don't find no uh, positive in it and say hey guys break it up you might get your butt with <laughs> but you know at least you could do something about it okay is I'm going to the right or left how can you didn't tell me Oh Jesus, she just I'm just straight ahead. Oh guys. One thousand feet what? Help. You've arrived at your destination. Oh, it's on that side. The hell I'm at. This ain't the beach. This is Derby Club Poker. Oh, this is the Greyhound Racer? I don't want no damn Greyhound Racer. Where the hell is she taking me at? Boulevard. Oh, snap. Where the beach at? This heifer done dropped me off in the middle of nowhere. Boy, I tell you, this GPS ain't worth a damn. Turn right. I'm on the 
beach. In 800 feet, turn left on Candy Boulevard North. Then turn left. She took me down here, dropped me off. I need to be on the beach, girl. Turn left. Shut up. Then turn left on Candy Boulevard North. I'm making this U turn. I get pulled over and tell the police, I don't, I don't know where I'm at. All right, guys, I gotta look for the sign. This helper just dumped me off of nowhere. I don't wanna be that one that can't find a freaking beach. Exit right to US 92 West, State Route 687, State Route 688 West, 4th Street North, Roosevelt Boulevard. This helper took me to uh, the Dagon Trailer Park. In 900 feet, turn left on 4th Street North, then turn left. Okay, where the hell are we going? Where's the beach at? I'm gonna have to stop Turn left on Fourth Street North. All right, guys, I got to fight with this GPS. Road. All right, this is your boy Kingfish, aka Big Owl. Guys, I'm lost. This happened on took me in the middle of a trailer park. I was supposed to be on the beach, so I got to beat this GPS. But all right, guys, this is I don't give a damn Saturday. I'm out. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing. You better get yourself some dashing grub, man. I will report back and let you know. You guys know how it went. Peace. Love you. Alyssa, enjoy your makeup, baby. Talk to you later.